BestBookBits.com presents The Four Agreements, A Practical Guide to Personal Freedom by Don Miguel Ruiz. Published in 1997 and weighing 138 pages, in The Four Agreements, Don Miguel Ruiz reveals a source of self-limiting beliefs that rob us of joy and create needless suffering. Based on the ancient Toltec wisdom, The Four Agreements offer a powerful code of conduct that can rapidly transform our lives to a new experience of freedom, true happiness, and love. A New York Times bestseller for over a decade, over 6.4 million copies sold in the US, translated into 40 languages worldwide. The written summary can be found on our website, bestbookbits.com. So without further ado, I bring in the book summary of The Four Agreements. Bullet summary. Don't take things personally. They'll never become true and they'll never be your problem. Always and only do your best. No regrets, no self-abuse. Focus on the path and enjoy it. Repeat the new empowering agreements day by day and you'll soon get there. Full summary. Domestication. Ruiz says that the outside world teaches us how to live and not necessarily in a good way. We are told what's acceptable and what's not acceptable and we are taught to judge. The author says society teaches us all the rules with operant conditioning. You will get a punishment when you will be bad and flaunt the rules and you will get a reward when you obey good boy the reward is subtly pernicious because it teaches us to act for the reward itself instead than finding pleasure in the action the fear of punishment instead becomes the fear of not being good enough and with both punishment and rewards we learn to wear a mask to please others looking at the pyramid you will see that your self-esteem stems from your behavior then stems from your identity with things pulling you from ideals religion, school, and proper behavior. Then you look at parents, workplace, society, and heroes. The author says our biggest fear is not death. Our biggest fear is not death. It's being alive in the most powerful sense of the word. Being and showing our real selves. Ruiz says that to find personal joy, you have to break all those society-imposed fear-based agreements which are currently tying you down. And he proposes four agreements that will help you doing just that. Number one, be impeccable with your word. Ruiz says that your word is the power coming directly from God. Impeccable derives from Latin and means without sin. Impeccable with your word means you don't use words to speak ill of yourself or others. It's important that it goes both ways, both outwardly and inwardly. You must stop entertaining negative thoughts about yourself. Albert Ellis recommends you screen out negative thoughts, and you must equally stop spreading bad gossip about others. And it also ranges from the small things to the big ones. The author makes the example of black magic box. When we say something negative to a kid, for example, that she's terrible at singing, the kid will carry it with her her whole life. Albert, he doesn't call it that way. The author also makes use of the concept of karma. What you put out, you get back. What you put out, you get back. And number two, don't take anything personally. During our domestication, we learn to take everything personally, says Ruiz. Everything is about me, me, me. We must learn instead to become less reactive and more detached. Because what others say is not a reality. It's a projection of who they are, says Ruiz. And if it will hurt you, it's not them who hurt you. It's you who has a wound. When you take it personally, you are admitting you believe in it. Only then it becomes true. When you take something personally, you take ownership of that thought, and at that point, it does become yours. And number three, do not make assumptions. Ruiz says that we make assumptions when we believe we know what others are thinking, but we don't, and we only project our own beliefs onto others. Unluckily, we have a tendency to make assumptions on the negative side, though. We often jump to the negative conclusions because we are afraid of a negative judgment. So it's our way to hit first and shield our ego from the pain of rejection. This often leads to useless arguments that need it, need happen in the first place. As Critical Conversations also acknowledges, stop assuming you know and ask instead. Stop assuming you know and ask instead. And even when you're on different opinions, Similar to Dale Carnegie, the author also recommends you avoid arguing to be right and respect the other point of view instead. And number four, 
always do your best. This is my very favorite agreement and a mantra of mine. Ruiz says, doing your best regardless of quality is the only thing you must ask of yourself. You only ask of yourself to do your best given the condition of the environment and yourself. That means that in some conditions, your best might be very poor or very poor even compared to your previous actions. And that's great because you don't demand success or perfection. Doing your best also delinks the action from the reward. It means that you come to enjoy the action without expecting any external prize. And that's when you reach full outcome independence. When you demand your best with full outcome independence, you will also avoid self-judgment, self-abuse, and regret. But don't forget, the fact that you don't depend on the outcome doesn't mean you do nothing. Action is the main differentiator, says Ruiz. Stick to doing your best and your personal improvement and transformation will become an obvious consequence. The fourth agreement allows you to practice and make all of the other agreements become a habit. When you fail to implement an agreement, don't sweat it. It's okay. Start again and then again until it becomes ingrained in who you are. And number five, breaking old agreements. Ruiz says to break old agreements, holding us back, we'll have a few options. Attack the fears one by one. Stop feeding the fear by stopping to feel the emotion. Symbolic death to kill the parasite within us. Do it even if. The example for the latter is the whose parents told her she was a very bad singer. She would then tell herself, fine, I will sing anyway. Spiritual warrior. The warrior knows that he's at war with his mind. Ruiz says the spiritual warrior is the one who controls his emotions instead of the other way around as for most people. The difference between the warrior and a victim, says the author, is that the victim represses while the warrior reframes. The victim represses because he's afraid of showing his emotion. Reframing instead holds the emotion and expresses it in the right moment. The author says death teaches us how to live. Imagine you had one week to live. Wouldn't you want to live life the way you wanted it? No more you would live to appease others, afraid of what they might think. That's how the angels of death can show you how to live life your own way. They come to you and tell you that everything you have is not really yours. It's theirs. And they can take it at any time. You can use for now though. And if we listen to the angels of death, we will be forever happy. The angels of death also come and take away our past and make the present possible. It's the parasite within us that clings to the past, making life so heavy. Heed the angels of death. Live how you like and live in the present. Live how you like and live in the present. The author finally invites you to forget everything you have previously learned in your life. This is your new beginning, your new dream. From now on, you create your own reality. The author paints a beautiful life for you. Imagine a life without fear of being judged by others, with nothing to control and nobody controls you either, without being afraid to take a risk, with no fear of death, but loving everything around you because you can. And that's a wrap on the four agreements by Don Miguel Ruiz. Subscribe to our channel now for future summaries and check out our website bestbookbits.com for the written and audio summary. To buy the book, use our website store where you'll find this book and hundreds more to browse and purchase. Thanks for watching and I hope you learned a thing or two about the four agreements. Have yourself an amazing day and stay tuned for more.